Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about college with the fear of missing out or FOMO as it's called. Basically, I feel like college students go through this a lot. There's always somebody saying, let's go to this party, let's go to this game, let's go to this event, let's go to this um, store, let's go here, let's go there, let's go this, that, whatever. I feel like that's constantly something that people are always trying to say. And if you're someone like me, who's kind of more of an introvert, someone who has to be a little bit more casual, laid back, chill, not always have plans all the time, I think when you go to a college atmosphere, it can be really hard to say no to things just because there's always somebody saying something and you want to get yourself out there, you want to make friends. And it's kind of this weird thing, it's like, well, where do you draw the line? You know, I feel like FOMO is just so relevant in college because there's just always something going on and you never want to miss it because you don't want to be the person that doesn't go to this or you don't want to be the person who didn't get to meet this person because you weren't there. Basically this happened to me last night. There was this Halloween party at my school and it was like a school like Halloween party so it wasn't like a woo kind of party like it was in the school and I didn't go because um a lot of people I knew weren't going. Last minute some people decided to go but I was already home and I don't know I just I'm not the biggest fan of Halloween and there were like a few different reasons why I didn't go but it was kind of hard for me not to go because I knew I would kind of feel like I was missing out. But I mean, I actually had like a really fun night with my mom instead, which sounds really lame, but like I love my mom, so it's okay. We like hung out, watched a movie. We're just, it was a fun time. It's really difficult to sometimes prioritize in college. And I feel like I've already had to make some decisions where it's like, for example, I want to stay at college this weekend, but I also want to go home. I don't know what to do. And I feel like no matter which one I do, I kind of feel weird about the decision. Like I feel like I'm missing out at college, but I also feel like I'm missing out at home. I don't know. The fear of missing out for me has never really been that relevant. I've always been the type of person where it's like, I'd rather do nothing than do something. I don't know. It sounds really bad, but like I'm just not the type of person that like wants to go out all the time. And I don't know. For some reason, the fear of missing out for me has never been relevant until college. And I have never had like the fear of missing out over, you know, like parties in college. More just like little things like school dances or um, I don't know, school events and stuff. And I don't want to miss out. But at the same time, it's so difficult because if you're always saying yes to things, you got to say no sometimes because you need to mentally recuperate, emotionally recuperate. You need to just give yourself a chance to breathe and relax. And I feel like when you're at college, it's always like, go, 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 go. You can never really relax. You can never really chill out. You're always either doing homework, hanging out with friends, um, around people in some way. Like, honestly, like, I feel like in college, you're basically never alone. Unless if your roommate's gone or, you know, you have a single dorm or whatever. I feel like you're just always around people. So when you're not, it's like, I'm missing something. Like, something's going on and I'm not there. What the heck? And I think that sometimes it's just, it's okay to say, you know what, I think I'm going to stick back tonight, or, you know, I'm not going to go to that. Thanks. I'm so awkward. I don't know. I just feel like the fear of missing out has become, like, a really relevant thing in my life recently, so... Yeah, I think I've been doing okay with it, though. I've been saying yes to a lot more things than I normally would, but also I say no when I need to, and I just, you know, stick back sometimes or just chill, have a little Netflix night with myself or something, just because it's important to have me time and we time and they time. I don't know. I'm trying to make like a cute pun. It's really failing me miserably. It's kind of late. It's like, it's five o'clock at night. So, not even in the morning, it's 5 o'clock at night, and I'm this delusional and thinking it's late. College students, woo! So, you guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to put my thoughts out there on FOMO and all that. Let me know below if you feel like, especially in college versus high school or any other time in your life, that like you feel like you're missing out on a lot of things if you don't go, even though it's like something you don't even want to do, maybe. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Or maybe you're in middle school and you go through FOMO all the time. Personally, for me, I feel like I never experienced it before. I was always just like, nah, I'm good in high school. But now that I'm in college, it's just like, I'm always around people. So when I'm not, I just like freak out. I'm like, oh my god, something's happening and I'm not there. What the heck? You know what I mean? That's pretty much, I guess, all I wanted to say about FOMO. So leave me your comments below. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And please be sure to subscribe and thumbs up and all the jazz. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Let me love you too, feel alright.